pretend there's no one here. I'm alone. But we can't do candy this time because things are different. But we are here and I am Darren and I am so excited to spend this day with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for sharing your time with us wherever you are watching from. I hope that you and yours are safe and healthy because we have a wonderful show planned. I am thrilled to be back with you. Thrilled, do you hear me saying this? It's Darren, I'm always thrilled. Thank you all for enjoying what I have brought to Community Night. Over the years, you are all very kind. It means the world to me. Tonight, just think of me as the human equivalent of comfort food. I am meatloaf in a suit. Or if you're vegan, I am tofu with a pocket handkerchief. Either way, I'm so looking forward to today. When Blizzard reached out to me about doing this, I thought about the line at the end of Honor and Glory. Hey, I got the thing, there it is. You know when Reinhardt says, I have been called, I must answer, always. I thought about Reinhardt's kindness and his devotion, his sense of being there for others. That line, that line, uh, it's a very important line to me. It resonates with me, it's a powerful line. Is it my favorite Reinhardt line? No. People ask a lot of the cast, what's your favorite line, what's your favorite line, what's your favorite line is your character, and I've never said what mine is. I've never said it. It's something I've struggled with, I put a lot of thought into it. And then it hit me. For me, there is no favorite line. There is only Overwatch. There is only Warcraft. There is only Hearthstone, Diablo, Starcraft, Heroes of the Storm. These are worlds and characters that I want to spend time with, that I want to immerse myself in. Every time I get to go into the recording booth, every time I get to become one of my now 75 Blizzard characters, how did that happen? That's my favorite time. That's what I do to hopefully give you your favorite moment. It's a little bit of joy, a little bit of madness, a little bit of whimsy. And at the heart of it, if you think about it, that's Blizzard. That's this community. That creative spark that will inspire outrageous cosplay, beautiful art, wonderful performances. Those worlds, those characters. Hey, in Warcraft, they put a giant sword into a planet. In Overwatch, there is a gorilla scientist from the moon and there is a small hamster that somehow knows how to operate heavy machinery. And we love it. That's this community to me. That's what today is about. All the cosplayers, the artists, the short filmmakers, the singers, the musicians, getting their crazy, delicious, delightful, gosh all heck, wow moment, sharing their skill and their passion, so that you go, how did they do that? Why did they do that? Can I do that? Of course you can. It's that creative spark that will be shared by everyone you're going to see tonight. So that even in this time of distance, our community creates things that give us connection. It's that spirit that makes me so thrilled to see what everyone has in store for us. It will be. A little bit of joy, a little bit of madness, a little bit of whimsy. And also, uh, stick around to the end because we're gonna bring on a special guest to help me announce Best in Show Cosplay Award. And now, grab your favorite beverage. Could be iced tea, could be moonberry juice. Sit back, relax, because we're about to start. And we're going to start with a segment you'll be seeing throughout the program, aptly named Talent Spotlight. And this is your Community Showcase. One who cannot let go Broken from within Descending to the frozen stone For
through these times Keep on keeping on and help to keep our kind alive Anima is our stamina, we give it to those in need Rest assured we will fill your gourd if you always trust in We just started and already I am so happy. What a surprise, it's me. I am always blown away by what everyone has to offer. And there will be more talent spotlights throughout the program. But right now, we are going to get right into what you have all been waiting for, the cosplay. Our community does some of the best cosplay out there and we are so excited to showcase it here for you. In the cosplay contest, the entrants were judged on originality, design, creativity, and execution. For our first cosplay category, no one does character armor and weapons better than Blizzard. And this year, we're uh, doing something a little different to introduce some of those contest finalists. We're shining a light on the community members from each of the six Blizzard franchises who are making a difference within their communities by bringing people together through gaming. To start us off, here is Vitor Ravenous Silvera. Hi there, my name is Vitor Silveira, I'm also known as Ravenous or Rev, and I'm from Brazil. For those who don't know, I am the creator of a project called EcoPoint Brazil. This project has been a lifesaver for me and for some members of the community. We've been able to connect in a whole different way, we've been doing like a lot of work for the environment, uh, we've been planting, uh, doing reforesting, we've been cleaning. I want to thank everyone for helping me and allowing me to make this come true. Overwatch was a life changer for me. I love the universe, I love the characters, they are amazing. I love the soundtrack, I love uh, the gameplay, I love how the game works and the lore. The lore was that allowed me to create the project Eco Point, so that changed my life forever. And now, here are the finalists and winner for this year's cosplay and weapons and armor category.
我是美，冻龄了九年，有些害羞，可卡对御风。只剩我一人撑到最后。有人问美妈：“你要御寒吗？”浑身肉肉，抱歉南极太冷，我只能穿得这么厚。我是美，深度科研宅，专注极限研究，身边只有一个我的小助手。他叫雪球，带我醒来的时候，世界已现在就我带上数据出发，决定拯救整个星球。我是美，闲来无事喜欢吟诗一首，平时很谦逊不上手，只是动作不让走。都说我是战场乱金油，人间贵地球，我只想控制住坏人，再请出我的队友。我是美，其实我内心里也很温柔，跳起兰花指。赚起枪来，显得很有 feel。你要不服，我就用拳拳砸你胸口。哇，除了科研，原来我这么适合战斗。嗯、我是美，手里的吹风机能喷射冷气。如果遇到敌袭，我会收起冰墙防御，能保护，能突袭。我不怕一 v 一，随身带护甲，残血就把自己关在冰箱里。开玩笑，我有全场数一数我的控制能力。舒心逆袭是暴雪爸爸亲闺女。我是平时里不要对身材太过在意，你们管这个叫坦，而我叫 sexy。坏、嗯、人太多，太疯狂，毫无招法的跑。减速呢，也是一种情绪稳定的方法。有人说我长得像熊猫，是不是讨打？冻、嗯、住你好，爆头三件套，送你回家。都循循温斯顿的处事风格，绝对冷静。我最讨厌那些坏蛋肆意破坏环境。只要我有恒心，守望先锋，团结一心，终有一天，霸占西平世界，重回安宁收。Another amazing spotlight, and congratulations to all the finalists of the weapons and armor cosplay category. The winner. On Hira Cosplay is now qualified for the Best In Show Cosplay Award at the end of the program. Moving on, storytelling is what really captures our attention and keeps bringing us back to the worlds and the realms of Blizzard and this community. You guys, you're so great because you take those stories and you make them your own. So now, let's take a look at the third place finalist for digital storytelling. Silvanus, stop this bloodshed. Jane, if Silvanus responds with terms that are acceptable to me, peace is upon us. No one is better suited to discuss the matter further. I trust in again, Greymane. There you are, Alliance dog. The Horde is now at open war with the Alliance. Has Stormwind finally come out to play? I have no time for games. Not while I reign. This war will not end until we stand victorious. Such a feeble mind. No. Do not keep me waiting. You have no idea what you're up against. My victory was inevitable. The Forsaken will never stop fighting. Ugh, fool! I don't do bouncy. Enough of your insolence! Look up and around you. This is war. Time is a luxury we do not possess. Nathanos. Oh, give me a moment. Interesting. Few truly have the stomach for war. You, it seems, have a genuine taste for it. I require the services of one whom I can trust. Want to witness true power? For you. This will be a convenient partnership. I will have need of you.
for the Horde. Wow. Well, I'm embarrassed. And Q1342, go. Lee, camera four, I want a slow pan in on the host, a DePaul mover number seven. No, Lee, that's a DePaul move number six. Are we not paying attention? Slowly, slow, slowly, Lee, slowly, Lee. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's go to camera three. Eh, that's not working. Hi. Since no one's here, I thought I'd take Someone a Someone told Darren there's no camera there. I've gone mad with power. <laughs> now, we're gonna move right along to the next cosplay category, Blizzard character. Let's get to know Scott Levy, AKA Bites, as he helps introduce the finalists. Okay, Lee, let's go. Q number one, back to one. Nobody tell Darren. Brilliant! Lee, this is great! Keep going, keep going, keep going! You went too far, Lee. Oh, God. Hey, I'm Scott Levy, also known as Hearthstone Innkeeper Bites, and I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. Over the years, I've, I've gotten a reputation of hosting over-the-top events. Uh, and for me, Fireside Gatherings kind of became a creative outlet. As someone who gets a lot of joy from hosting live events, uh, it's been an especially difficult year. It hasn't stopped me though from connecting with my Hearthstone family. Uh, if anything, being restricted to online events has helped push me to create some unique tournaments like the Battle Blitz and Battle Grind. Uh, I've gotten to the point now where I've been able to mentor other innkeepers and provide them with tools and resources and training to help make their events better. I've run some charity events and created resources online for everyone to use and, and giving back to the community really means a lot to me. One of the things that I miss the most, of course, is BlizzCon. I miss all the people and the live tournaments and the spectacle of it all. And I even miss the two and a half hours it takes of glue and makeup and paint to transform me into the innkeeper. And as much work as it is to transform me into this guy, I know so many people put so much more work into their cosplay. So I am thrilled that this year we get to see some more amazing cosplay. And now here are the finalists and winner of this year's cosplay Blizzard Characters category.
Congratulations to Hardigan for winning the Cosplay Award for Best Blizzard Character. Stick around at the end of the showcase to see if they take home the coveted Best in Show Cosplay Award. It's coming up at the end of the showcase. But right now, we have the second place digital storytelling piece. And my friends, it is a musical delight. Let's see it now. Music! I saw an old man in a dinghy by the sea. He said he was in a quarantine. I thought he'd gone mad from the scurvy when he pulled out his thunder fury and said, Six feet apart or six feet down, stand next to me and I'll put ye underground. Don't hide ye hell nor take your mask off, there be plague in Nazareth. So I docked me ship off the wetland shore The town seemed quieter than before No folk in sight but food at their doors Delivered by goblin eats No horde or ally in BGs Instead they fight through Zoom meetings Everyone social distancing Like that old man said to me Six feet apart or six feet down Stand next to me and I'll put ye underground Don't ID hell nor take your mask off There be plague in Azeroth I seek to find the source of the plague That drove all of our heroes away I start me search in Booty Bay The foulest place there be The goblins point to Zulgurub I ask Huck Car, corrupted blood? He said, no way, try Kel'Thuzad. A 20-minute flight northeast. Uh, excuse me. Can, can you move? Can you move back, please? Six feet apart or six feet down. Stand next to me and I'll put ye underground. Don't hide ye hell nor take your mask off. There be plague in Azeroth. I arrive at Nax and find KT. He said this plague is beyond me. There's no place with toxicity to brew a plague like that. But Storm went trade chat. <sighs> Can you please move your griffin back? I spot that old man from the dinghy. He's yelling at trade. Thunder Fury! Everybody has one in the city, and they're all so scarab lords. Fully miss and bored. I said six <laughs> It appears that jerks be the source of the plague, bragging about their loot in trade. It annoyed all the casual folk away. Now no one wants to play. But there's still some hope to save the city. The cure be show generosity. All part of one community that spans 30 years. So spread love to your peers, because Blizzard is here. All cosplay takes imagination, artistry, creativity, ingenuity. But for our category of traditional creation, we want to award those who displayed the highest levels of craftsmanship through cutting, sewing, fastening, and use of classic materials. So, to announce the finalists in traditional creation cosplay, we have Diablo 3 content creator, Wolf Cryer. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, my name is James McDermott, but online, I am better known as Wolf Cryer a Diablo 3 streamer and content creator. I'm also the founder of Level With A Cause, which is a charity fundraising event that coincides with the start of each new season in Diablo 3. We've been doing this since season 11, and thanks to a ton of my fellow content creators and the generosity of the Diablo 3 community, this effort has managed to raise over $80,000 for various charities over the last few years. 2020 brought many challenges to our daily lives, but gaming, and in particular for me, Diablo 3 and its fantastic community, brought me at least some sense of that normalcy that I think we were all trying to find last year. 
Some of my best memories that I have have come from BlizzCon. These are truly moments that I can never, ever forget. And I personally can't wait until we all have that opportunity to meet up in person once again. But now, here are the finalists and winners for this year's Cosplay Traditional Creation category. And now, it is time to give out the first place award for digital storytelling. And for this piece, a group of Overwatch community members came together from around the globe to create something truly fantastic. Let me tell you, my friends, they delivered the payload. Let's take a look. Oh, better get my coffee. All right, good to go. And right on time. Reinhardt, how are you? Uh, good, I suppose. But I'm still not sure about this internet meeting. Oh, you'll get used to it, big guy. Now, can you screen share our plan of attack on Sector 7? What share? Share what? What are you speaking of? Hold that thought. Brigitte's in the waiting room. Where? What room? Where's my beloved goddaughter? I do not see her. Brigitte, how are you? Oh! Ah! What is that? 
That's just Mitty. She hasn't had her liner yet. What's a liner? Halfway between lunch and dinner. She gets cranky if she doesn't get it on time. No, Mitty, no. Behave. Okay. Well, anyway, here's Genji. Uh, Genji, we can't hear you. Genji, you're muted. Turn off mute. There you go. So, what were you saying? I need healing. Of course. Genji, we need you to focus, alright? Well, that just happened. Okay, uh, moving on. May's here. Hi, May! Oh, May, stop! Sorry, I was just making a milkshake. It's a little warm where I am. Don't you live in the Arctic? Yes, and it's summer in here. Okay. Nina, I did some research on the internet machines. I can screen share. That's wonderful. Now I can finally get something done. Uh, oh no, uh, we're losing connection. What is happening? I wish to screen share! I, I wish to show my skills! I live for this! Hello? Ah, oh, bugger! Over the years, techniques for creating costumes have evolved with current technology, which has made for grander and grander cosplay. So right now, we are going to award those who have utilized crafting technology to its fullest to bring forth the most epic of modern creation cosplay. To help us introduce the finalist, we have StarCraft streamer, Livy B. Hi, my name's Olivia Cito, but most people know me by my gamer tag Livy B. I'm a streamer and cosplayer from Sydney, Australia, and I've been playing Blizzard games since I was 10 years old, so they hold a special place in my heart. StarCraft is the hardest game I have ever played, and getting Grandmaster for the first time was easily one of the best moments of my life. I was finally able to break through that skill ceiling, a goal I was driven to achieve for years and something I definitely wouldn't have been able to achieve if not for the love and support of my community. Streaming has really allowed for myself and others to stay connected during the pandemic. And even if you are someone that isn't used to staying inside all the time, there's always a place for you to hang out with people who share the same passion for gaming as you do. Shout out to the Beehive. For this past year or so, I've also been incredibly passionate about cosplay. My favorite character to cosplay, of course, is D.Va. She is definitely my video game character kindred spirit. But that's enough about me. Here are the finalists and winners for this year's cosplay modern creation category.
There's more show to come. But before we continue, we'd like to take a moment to recognize one of our community members who passed away earlier this year. Jared Nanden took the BlizzCon stage in 2013 in an unforgettable South Park World of Warcraft cosplay. Creativity is the defining trait of what we try to put on display during community night. And Jared, Jared was one of the most creative ones to ever walk the BlizzCon stage. Our cosplay community deeply feels this loss. Jared Lee Nanden, how do you kill that which has no life? Do, 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 do. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I'm just alone in an empty theater creating this, a masterpiece. Ah, yes, and paintbrush down. <laughs> Seriously, the Blizzard community creates some of the most impressive fan art out there. And a big thank you to all those who submitted their fantastic work. Look, I was a little late on submitting mine, so unfortunately, I could not be considered to enter the contest, but I will let all of you give me your opinion. You be the judge. It's really good, right? I'm a very fragile individual. But come on, let's see who the winners of this year's art contest are. And friends, to announce the finalists, we have Jazzeline from the Heroes of the Storm community. Ha ha! 
Hi guys, my name is Brooke, but most of you know me as Jazeline. I'm from Trenton, Ontario, Canada, but I've called California home now for over four years. I stream and I cast Heroes of the Storm, but I'm also the creator and organizer of Girls Gank Squad, an all-female community created to highlight and support women in gaming. In 2020 alone, Girls Gang Squad was able to raise over $10,500 for charities such as Rain, the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, and Marine Toys for Tots. One of my favorite things about Heroes of the Storm is the community. I've never been surrounded by such generous and compassionate people. They're what make the events Girls Gang Squad put on so successful. But enough of that stuff. Every year at BlizzCon, I'm absolutely blown away by the talented artists that submit work for the art contest. Here are the finalists and winner of this year's art contest. Congratulations to Zong Yong for winning the art contest with that amazing villainous piece. Well, look, I thought I was going to introduce our special guest right now, but there seems to be a bit of a hiccup. But look, I am from theater, and uh, uh, the show must go on. Sorry. So Sorry, I had to finish putting all this on. Guns will be stuck there. No, no, I got it, I got it. OK, OK, you hey. look great. Huh. This is amazing. Thank you, thank you. One question, why are you dressed as McCree? You 
you asked me to come and cosplay for the community showcase. No, it was about introducing cosplay. It's okay, it's fine. You look fantastic. Well, thank you, much obliged. <laughs> Figured it was either this or the pajamas I've been wearing for the past 10 months, and I think this has a little bit of an air of professionalism over the previous, so. I've been wearing a suit all the time. That's the epitome of professional, so there you go. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you. Speaking of that, professionalism, would you help me bring the hammer down by introducing the next segment? It would be an honor if you don't mind. <laughs> so, the Blizzard community, as we know, does cosplay better than anyone. So, we'd like to thank you for the time spent on bringing Blizzard characters to life in incredible ways. So let's take a look at some of our entrants in this year's cosplay exhibition. We're back. Why are you taking off your costume? I told you, I've been wearing nothing but pajamas for about a year. This is getting hot. <laughs> However, I do want to say a huge thank you to all the amazing entrants to our exhibition, incredible costumes, and easily one of my favorite parts of every year here at BlizzCon. And now, my friends, it is time. The award for this year's cosplay best in show will go to one of the four cosplay category winners and help us present the award all the way from France. Here is Zeratoor. Salut à tous, je m'appelle Adrien, mais je suis connu sur Internet sous le nom de Zerator et je viens de France. 
Cette année a été très particulière pour moi puisque j'ai beaucoup streamé à cause du Covid et évidemment de tout ce qui en est ressorti par rapport à l'urgence sanitaire. Il s'est passé quelque chose de très particulier pour moi puisque j'ai organisé un raid pour la première fois de ma vie dans un hôtel avec 20 joueurs. Wow, c'est vraiment mon jeu de cœur, j'adore y jouer et on s'est retrouvé voilà, pendant deux semaines malgré l'urgence sanitaire mais en respectant les mesures et les gestes barrières dans un hôtel à 20 pour les deux semaines de raid mythique au château de Natria qui est juste derrière moi d'ailleurs. C'était un vrai bonheur pour nous, c'était un petit peu tout le rêve de joueurs de MMO de se retrouver avec les 20 de la guilde directement dans un hôtel pendant deux semaines pour jouer comme des malades et on a réussi à un petit peu avancer dans le raid même si on n'est pas des pros mais on a fait de notre mieux et c'était déjà pas mal. World of Warcraft pour moi c'est une très vieille histoire, déjà dans les années 2000-2013 j'organisais des concours de pexing sur, euh, sur le jeu et il y avait déjà pas mal de gens pour suivre et aujourd'hui presque 10-15 ans plus tard il y a encore autant de monde qui suit tout ça donc je suis vraiment très content. Aujourd'hui je suis très fier de représenter la France et toute l'Europe à travers World of Warcraft mon stream et cette vidéo grâce à la confiance que m'a accordé Blizzard. And now, selected from the finalists of the four cosplay categories, here is the winner for this year's best in show. And that's it for our BlizzCon line community showcase. Congratulations to Hardigan for winning the cosplay best in show contest. Hardigan! Hardigan! <laughs> well and thank you, Matt, for joining me. Every year, every time that I get to spend with you is more special than I can possibly say. Oh, make me blush. It's truly the honor's mine. I've been coming to BlizzCon since it started, and being able to share these space with you is always an absolute joy. Thank you. And congratulations to all our finalists. And thank you to all the community members who participated in our showcase. And finally, thanks to all you watching at home. Look, friends, even though we're still staying safe by playing a part together, hopefully if we're lucky, we'll see you sooner than later at our next BlizzCon. Until then, I'm Darren. And I'm Matt. Stay safe. We love you! Mwah! <laughs> <laughs>